Howdy. So this morning I had the news on and I just caught um, part of the of a, of a report about, um, and it, I don't know who the researcher was, but it sounds like it came, this research came out of Amster, Amsterdam. And it was saying that there, that studies have shown that sugar is a highly addictive substance and should be controlled. Um, like it, it was being compared to any other kind of drug out on the st street, basically. Now, if that were true, why do, why do we not have people um, buying bags of white sugar and snorting it or injecting it to get a you know, a direct fix from this highly addictive substance like cocaine or heroin. Um, you know, you'd think that would be the case. People would be so addicted, you'd have real sugar addicts. You don't see that though, do you? I mean, do you know anybody who's a, and there might be cases of pe some people out there like that, but the reality is, if there's any kind of sugar craving, it has to do, it's usually the sugar is ingested with a combination of fat, like in the form of cakes or in donuts, right? So, you know, these studies, I don't know, they're so far-fetched. Um, I mean, perhaps maybe the problem is, is the reason why people are consuming so much re refined sugar is because they're not eating enough fruits. Hmm, there's a possibility. Think about it. I mean, that to me makes a lot more sense. But I don't know. There is there is a um, a sort of bias against sugar, um, and you know I'm I agree. Refined sugar is not a healthy product to consume. Um, but to say that it's a highly addictive substance, putting it on par with cocaine or heroin and suggesting that it should be controlled, I just think that that is ridiculous. I mean, let's really, let's do a, a complete study here. How are people consuming the sugar? If they were buying bags of sugar and consuming it directly on a regular basis, then I'd say, okay, and, and we had a problem of this on a large scale, then you could say there's, there's grounds for, for that uh, assumption, but, that that's not happening again what's happening is people are consuming sugar combined with fat so why not let let's take a look at fat as well um, and then let's take a look at how much fruit these people that are consuming a lot of sh high sugar high fat foods how much fruit are they consuming as well and you probably would find that their fruit consumption is very low the reality is is I mean I'm no nutritionist, but from what I understand is that every cell in our body uses sugar, glucose, as a source of energy. Not fat, not protein. I mean, those are also essential nutrients as well, but in order to utilize the energy, it must convert it into glucose. It only uses sugar as a source of energy. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Again, I'm not a nutritionist. So it is understandable that if you're not eating enough fruits, you're gonna to need to get that sugar fix because you're low, your body needs it for energy. Um, and it may have, be having a problem trying to convert all the fat that you're cons consuming into a usable energy. That's my theory anyways. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a certified nutritionist, um, but I'm just using my common sense here, okay? Yeah, so what do you think? Is sugar a highly addictive substance? Or is it a highly necessary nutrient in our diet that should come in the form of fruit that's bound, where the sugar is bound by fiber and, and rich in nutrients? Anyways, have a great day. God bless and peace be with you.